Hello guys and welcome to my first viewing of Aliens. I just watched this with my community. We just finished. <laughs> this movie was absolutely crazy. Um, but I won't spoil too much. Recently I finished playing Alien Isolation. You can see that playthrough if you're curious on my uh, YouTube channel that is just Bunny Tales. And on this channel you can see my reaction to Alien. Also, the full reaction to Alien and Aliens will be on my Patreon. A lot of people requested this after I watched Alien that I should watch Aliens, and I originally wasn't going to do it as a movie night for the Patreon, but everybody there wanted to watch it with me too, so that's what we did. It was a whole lot of fun, and originally I thought that I might have seen this movie before as a child, and so I thought I might recognize some parts, but I can safely say that I have never seen this movie before. Absolutely nothing was familiar. That being said, I hope you guys will enjoy watching and I hope to hear your thoughts in the comments. Seven years between this one and the first. Wow, that's a pretty big gap actually. Now, you kind of got to have to wonder why, after everything that she went through, she would get back on a spaceship. But I assume in this world that they're in, that space travel is just so ingrained in everything that they do. So it'd be like, if you get into a car accident, obviously you're going to get back in your car and drive because it's kind of a necessity. That's how you get places. This is how they work. Right? Well, I do definitely see a, a graphical improvement over the first one. Not that they really needed it. Now, who are these people breaking and entering? Well, it doesn't look like seven years has passed for Miss Sigourney. Bio readouts are all on the green. Looks like she's alive. Now, wait a minute. So solid, guys. She's been in cryo this whole time? With that damn cat? She didn't get back on the spaceship she's been on it the whole time, yeah? My god. How are we today? Terrible. Well, better than yesterday, at least. You are pretty groggy at first, but now you're okay. You're safe. You're at Gateway Station. Been here a couple of days. Jonesy. How are you, you stupid cat? I'm Burke. We caught her Burke. I'm glad to see you feeling a little better. They, uh, they tell me that all the weakness and disorientation should pass soon. I work for the company, but I'm really an okay guy or something like that. Now, you guys told me that it had been seven years since the movies were released. And for some reason, I was thinking that it's been seven years in the time of the <laughs> movies as well. This place. Which is clearly not correct. So we don't know how long she's been sleeping. It might be a shock to you. Long How long? Seven years? Fifty-seven years. Oh, fifty! So just add a fifty! I think you're damn lucky to be alive, kiddo. You had drifted right through the core systems. Blind luck that a deep salvage team found you when they did. You okay? Things make so much sense now. I was wondering how, in the game, Ripley never came back, but then there was a sequel to the movie. I was like, I don't understand. But now I get it. Um, this is a dream, yeah? No! Wait, has it really been 57 years? Bad dreams again help you sleep. No. If that was a dream, has it been 57 years? I can't handle this already. How oh, pretty. Sorry I'm late. I've been running behind all morning. Is there any word about my daughter? I really think we should worry about the hearing now. If you just stick to that, I think we'll be fine. There's, there are going to be a lot of heavyweights in there. Do you have any news about my daughter? Well, we did come up with some information. Amanda Ripley McLaren, age 66. That was at the time of her death, two years ago. So it has been 57 years. Sorry. 
She was cremated and interred at Westlake Repository, Little Shoot, Wisconsin. I promised her that I'd be home for her 11th birthday. I couldn't even imagine. I don't understand this. Now, how many different ways do you want me to tell the same story? Now, you freely admit to detonating the engines of and thereby destroying an M-Class star freighter. The lifeboat's flight recorder corroborates some elements of your account. Forty-two million in adjusted dollars. An LV-426, an unsurveyed planet at that time, by you for reasons unknown. Not for reasons unknown. We sat down there on company orders to get this thing. The analysis team, which went over the lifeboat, found no physical evidence of the creature you described. Good. These are the very people that sent them to that planet to get the creature. Not these people specifically, but this company. Ma'am, I already said that it was not indigenous. <laughs> we homed in on its beacon and found something never recorded once. These are your words. A creature that gestates inside a living human host. Yes. But I'm telling you that those things exist. Thank you, Officer Ripley. Please, you're not listening to me. Kane, who went into that ship, said he saw thousands of eggs there. That will be all. God damn it! That's not all! That will be all! Then all of this, this bullshit that you think is so important! You can I love it when she's feisty. Warrant Officer E. Ripley has acted with questionable judgment. Said license is hereby suspended indefinitely. And you are released on your own recognizance for a six-month period of psychometric probation. These proceedings are closed. How frustrating is that? That could have been better. Yeah, no shit. Why don't you just check out LV-426? There have been people there for over 20 years, and they never complain. They go in and set up these big atmosphere processes to make the air breathe them. How many colonists? I don't know, 60, maybe 70 families. Families? Families? Now, she just survived this horrible... Horrible turn of events. All her crew died. She barely made it out. She goes to sleep in the cryo chamber. Seconds later, she's awake. It's been 57 years. Her daughter is dead. She has no family. And these idiots <laughs> are telling her that they don't believe her. And she's in trouble for what happened. And they put families there with those damn alien eggs. Yeah? I'd be pissed with a capital P. I S S E D. Capitalize all the fucking letters. And add several exclamation points. At least seven. 57. I'll be down in maintenance, okay? Hey, Al. Remember you sent some wildcatters out in the middle of nowhere last week? Oh, well, one of them's on the horn. He says he's on to something. He wants to know if his claim will be on it. I don't ask because it takes two weeks to get an answer out here. Tell him as far as I'm concerned, if he finds something, it is his. Your kids know you're not supposed to be on this level. Go on, get out of here. Families. I catch either of you playing in the air ducts again, I'll tan your hides. Yeah, don't go in the air ducts, please. <laughs> Let's not talk about any air ducts. Folks, we have scored big this time. What is it, Dad? I take it this is that mom and pop expedition? Shouldn't we call in? Let's wait till we know what to call it in as. It's about as close as we can get. Should we take a look inside? No. But of course they will. You can stay inside. I mean it. Right so strange that they would take their children out on this like unexplored portion of the planet. They are not even wearing any protective gear to so to speak of. again guys here we go again why why am i even watching this <laughs> why am i willingly putting myself through this again this is 
Lieutenant Gorman of the Colonial Marine Corps. They've lost contact with the colony on LV-426. Ripley, we have to talk. Told you so. And now you want me to go back out there? It's not my problem. Ripley, you wouldn't be going in with the troops. I can guarantee your safety. No, not against those things. We've been trained to deal with situations like this. Nobody <laughs> has. Me, I'm not a soldier. They're packing state-of-the-art firepower. There's nothing they can't handle. It may just be a down transmitter, okay? But if it's not... What's your interest in all this? The corporation co-financed that colony along with the colonial administration. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, I saw the commercial. I've got to get to work. All right. I heard you're working in the cargo docks. And I, I know it's the only thing that you could get. <laughs> nothing wrong with it. What a jerk. I told you I could get you reinstated as a flight officer. Come on, that's a second chance, kiddo. And I think personally for you would be the best- Kiddo, I'm 57 years older than you. At least. I've read it. You wake up every night, your sheets are soaking with sweat. I said no! Now please leave. I am not going back. Just think about it. Thanks for the coffee. Ugh. <laughs> You know, all things considered, I think she's taking this very well. I don't think I would be able to function as a human being after having gone through that. Going to work, doing a job, getting on with life. Put a shirt on. Tell me one thing, Burke. You're going out there to destroy them, not to bring back. Right? You have my word on it. All right, I'm in. I think... <laughs> <laughs> Bye. You know that's not Wayland Yutani's plan. I think Jonesy's had enough adventure. I know Jonesy ha is is a he or a she. I know Jonesy has nine lives, but I see a titty. I saw a titty. Glad to see that very recognizable soundtrack is coming back. All the more to help me remember the traumatizing events of the previous movie and the game. Point five seconds into waking up. Not enough to have to wake up to your face, Drake. <coughs> All right, sweethearts, what are you waiting for? Day in the Marine Corps is like a day on the farm. Fall in, people. I hate this job. You're gonna hate it a lot more. You're about to hate it a lot more. Man, these people are serious. All right, first assemblies and 15 people, shag it. Mira, who's Snow White? Some kind of consultant. She saw an alien once. <laughs> Whoopie fucking do. Hey, Vasca. Muy, muy bonita. Have you ever been mistaken for a man? <laughs> now, don't get attached to these characters, because... Just don't. Right? <laughs> it's a rescue mission. You'll love it. What's this crap supposed to be? It's good for you, boy. Eat it. Hey. I could go for some cornbread. I'm actually quite hungry. I would not trust him or anybody. <laughs> what the fuck? That wasn't funny, man. Well, looks like the new lieutenant's too good to eat with the rest of us, Grunts. Boy's definitely got a corn cob up his ass. You never said anything about an android being on board. Why not? I'm sorry. I don't know why I didn't even. I prefer the term artificial person myself. The artificial person malfunctioned and uh, a few deaths were involved. Was it an older model? Yeah, the Hyperdyne Systems 128. I mean, it was 57 years old. It is impossible for me to harm or by a mission of action allow to be harmed a human being. Just stay away from me, Bishop. You got that straight? Bet you don't like the cornbread either. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't think it was in what's his name's programming either. But then when the company overrides that directive, they listen to the company that created them, right? Assuming Wayland Yutani makes manufactures these androids, I don't know. I'm sorry we didn't have time to brief you people before we left Gateway, but sir, is this going to be a stand-up fight, sir, or another bug hunt? There's still no contact with the colony. Uh, a what? A xenomorph. It's a bug hunt. I'll tell you what I know. One of our crew members was brought back on board with something attached to his face. Later, it seemed to come off by itself and die. It must have laid something inside his throat. So Look, man. I only need to know where they are. <laughs> you guys have no idea. You don't know. I hope you're right. Just one of those things managed to wipe out my entire crew in less than 24 hours. Do you understand? They don't, but they will. All right. I want this thing to go smooth. I want DCS and tactical database assimilation by 0830. Now move it, people. You heard the man and you know the drill. Assholes and elbows. Oh, man. They have no idea what they're getting into. Y'all sure, Hudson, get it done. Corporal, I want this loading lock sealed. That's one. Good. Take it away. Okay. They have some heavy artil artillery. Now, the what the heck is this thing? That looks so fun. <laughs> I feel like kind of a fifth wheel around here. I don't know. Is there anything you can do? Well, I can drive that loader. They don't know that she's the most kick-ass out of all of them. That is so cool. Very impressive practical effects. Yes. Bay 12, please. Are those guns? Things are huge, whatever they are. But we're a team, and there's nothing to worry about. Is that understood, yeah. sir? All right, people, on the ready line. I'm saying, get on the ready line, Marine. Move it up, Captain. Get hot. Move it up. 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 Move it Lock him in, Hudson. Let's go. Let's go. Roger. Pre-launch auto cycle engage. Five. We're on express elevator to hell. Mark. Oh no. We're in the pipe. Five by five. Five by five. I feel like I've heard that before in other places. Is that what does that mean? Rough air ahead. We're in for some chop. How many drops is this for you, Lieutenant? Thirty-eight. Combat drops. Two. Including this one. Range zero one four. And I'm telling you, I got a bad feeling about this drop. Let's see what we can see. Drake, check your cam. That's better. Just smack it. Ultimate badass. State of the badass art. I hope you guys can keep this pumped up attitude. Don't worry. Me and my squad of ultimate badasses will protect you. I want to punch him. We got tactical smart missiles. We got sonic electronic ball breakers. I'm about to break his balls. Two minutes, people. Get hot! Where's the damn beacon? Oh, I see it. Here we go. Completely automated. You know, we manufacture those, by the way. Good for you. Okay, Farrell, take us in. I am a bit done with them, but you can't really hold it against them. They don't, they don't know what they're getting into. The name Bill Paxton so it sounds familiar. Set down on the landing grid. 
Oh, okay. He was that guy in Titanic. Ten seconds, people. Look sharp. Let's go. Move it out. That's gas take point. Let's move. Move up. I feel like this is going to be a bit more action packed than the first movie. Second squad, move up. Look at those freaking guns. Won't do you much good when the alien sneaks up. Can't even see it coming. Well, I did really, really enjoy the slow drama horror aspects of the first movie, so we'll see how this compares. I also like some like me some action, so. Okay, well this place looks kind of jacked up. Hopefully they're getting a little bit of an idea now of what they're getting themselves up against. Seventy, sixty to seventy families. Hudson, use your motion trackers. Now that's more kind of like Nothing. the handheld device we had in Alien Isolation. Quarter and search by twos. Now they probably won't find any bodies. Just lying about, the xenomorph will have probably taken them all to its nest, stuck them on the walls and whatnot. There's something in there. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, tell him to pan right. Looks melted. Somebody must have bagged one of Ripley's bad guys here. You like Told ya! You're gonna love this. I don't think I'm gonna love anything that you could show me. I don't think... I don't think Ripley's gonna love any of it. Sir, uh, this place is dead. Whatever happened here, I think we missed it. Let's go in and see what the computer can Wait tell us. It's not secure. The area is secured, Ripley. No, it's... What am I here to advise for if you're not gonna listen to me? South lock. Right. We're coming in. Roger. We would like you to advise without the advising part. Stand by in operations. And they're gonna send everybody inside there? Ellen, don't go. You know you no, turn back. Are you alright? No. Sealed off this wing at both ends. Locked off the stairs with heavy equipment. Any bodies? No, sir. Must have been a hell of a fight. Or a slaughter. Uh, once again, the the set, the set, <laughs> the set pieces, the locations. What am I trying to say? It looks amazing. Like it's very detailed, very well put together. Uh, they were, they were studying these things. Are they crazy? Careful, Burke. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Two are alive. The rest are dead. Subject Marachek, John J, died during the procedure. Yo, Hicks. He was dead either way. Anybody in D block? Negative. We're all in operations. Let's keep moving, baby. It's moving. Which way? It's coming straight forward. Straight Hope forward. all your fancy guns are gonna. Who am I kidding? Could be above, could be below, could be a hamster again. Was that it? Why? What was that? Oh, they almost shot her. They almost shot her. 
grab her, Corporal? It's all right. It's okay. I got her. Ow! See her. Where'd she go? Come here, here. Grab her, man. We're gonna lose her. Can I get out? Oh, no. That girl's been through some shit. It's okay. Don't be afraid. Wait! No, you don't. It's all right. You're gonna be okay. Would you say she is, seems to be about 11 years old? About the same age that Amanda was when he last saw her daughter. When Ellen last saw Amanda. Total brain lock. Start at the beginning. Where are your parents? Give it a rest, why don't you? Borderline malnutrition, but I don't think there's any permanent damage. A little hot chocolate. Oop. I made a clean spot here. Guess I'll have to do the whole thing. Hard Pretty to... blue eyes. You don't talk much, do you? Nope. Tell me what you're scanning for, Private. Personal data transmitters. They're within 20 clicks. We'll read it out here. You're one brave kid, Rebecca. Newt. My name's Newt. Newt? I'm Ripley. Newt. Okay. And who is this? Hmm? What about your brother? Timmy. Mom and Dad? They're dead. All right, can I go now? You'd be safer here with us. These people are here to protect you. Won't make any difference. Damn. She knows there are a bunch of overhyped idiots. <laughs> Do you need anything else? No. Is he going to be a jerkwad too? Stop your grinning and drop your linen. Found him. What did he say? <laughs> Sub-level three under the main cooling towers. Let's saddle up, eh, Palm? Oh, dear. That's where the alien brought them. Transmission showing a lot of breakup. I'm not making that out too well. What is it, Hudson? What is that? Proceed inside. Watch your fire and check your targets. How long does it take the aliens to make a place look like this? Nobody touch nothing. Hot as hell in here. Lieutenant, what do those pulse rifles fire? Standard light armor piercing around. So? If they fire their weapons in there, won't they rupture the cooling no. system? Oh, the whole station is basically a big fusion reactor. So their guns are useless. Nuclear explosion and adios muchacho. How is he saying that so casually? Hey, Palm, we can't have any firing in there. Collect magazines from everybody. Is he fucking crazy? Oh, my God. Just do it, Sergeant. All right, sweethearts, you heard the man. Pull him out. Come on, let's have him. So much for their fancy guns. I want it now. <laughs> Give it up. Cross, you got the duty. Open that bag. I'd like to keep this handy. Shotgun? Any movement? Nothing. Oh, Did they find the people? Yep. Uh... Uh Oh, there's spinely legs. Spiny, spindly, spindly. It looks, this looks amazing. This looks so good. Don't touch it. Don't. Ah. Just stay calm. We're gonna get you out. Oh, oh, oh. oh no! Oh no! It's happening again. No! Kill it! Hurry! What the hell is this training for? We just need to nuke the whole planet. Just 
throw the planet into the sun. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Multiple signals. You woke him up. No. Pull your team out, Gorman. It's too late. It's already too late. I don't see shit. Tracker's off scale, man. They're all around us, man. <gasps> oh. Yeah! Oh shit. Where's Baskin? Wait, you're not supposed to God damn it! They're not supposed to fire! I said I want you to lay down a suppressing fire with the incinerator. <laughs> Talk to me, Apo! Whoever's left, get Just shut up! Here, God damn it! Let's go, Marine! They didn't listen. They didn't listen. Do something! Come on, keep moving, baby. Hold on, Newt. What are we doing? What the hell are you doing? Something? Anything? More than what you're doing? surprised that any of them well they're not out of there yet but go, 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 go. he's not gonna make it Ooh. oh the acid blood oh geez even when you kill them they're deadly go, go, go. Oh, hey. no, forget him he's gone oh no eat this <laughs> oh, the acid. Oh, the shotgun. Very satisfying. Well, yeah, that any of them made it out of that is a shock to me. <gasps> oh, hell no. <laughs> she is so tired of their shit. Now will you guys listen to me? <coughs> you okay? <laughs> what happened to Gorman? Maybe a concussion. Wake up from there, one minute, I want to kill you! Back off. Hey, look. Dietrich aren't dead, man. Can we go back in there and get the... Fuck that! We don't leave our... <laughs> right now they're being cocooned just like the others. Better to be dead. We got seven canisters of CN20. Nerve gas the whole fucking nest. Well, we don't even know if it's gonna affect him. I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. Yeah. Fucking A. Oh, oh hold on. Hold fucking A. <laughs> this is an emotional moment for all of us. So let's not make snap judgments, please. Now, I don't think that you or I or anybody has the right to exterminate them. Hold on. We just got our asses kicked, pal. <laughs> <laughs> It's my favorite part of the whole movie so far. Hicks has authority here. This operation is under military jurisdiction, and Hicks is next in chain of command. This is a multi-million dollar installation. I don't give a fuck. I say we take off, nuke the site from orbit. Wow. For the first time in her whole life, somebody is agreeing with her. <laughs> Hicks, my man. Move it, Spunkmeyer. We're rolling. Hold on a second, there's something. Oh. Well, where the fuck? Oh, jeez. They really do a good job of making those things disgusting and terrifying. Newt is a new Jonesy, isn't she? Hopefully she'll be more useful than the damn cat was. <laughs> His expression says it all. I guess we're not gonna be leaving now. That's it, man. Game over, man. We better get back. They mostly come at night. Mostly. 
I think we should listen to the girl because she's survived for a long time, I suspect. Longer than anyone else. You got uh, 15 of these M40 grenades. That ain't so good. Is that the only flamethrower? It's only half full, but it's functional. One half full flamethrower. We got four of these robot sentries. How long after we're declared overdue can we expect a rescue? 17 days. We're not gonna last 17 hours. This little girl survived longer than that with no weapons and no training. <laughs> Listen to me. Hudson, just deal with it. Oh, man. I love this. I'll call up some kind of floor plan for anything that shows the layout of this place. We need to see electrical access tunnels, every possible way into this complex. Okay, I'm on it. Hudson. Let's go. Come on. Ripley in charge. Newt is our advisor. Oh, this guy's still here. Oh, great. We don't trust him. So this service tunnel must be how they're moving back and forth. You should ride into the sub level here. Well, there's a pressure door at this end. You put one of the remote sentry units in the tunnel? Yeah, that'll work, but we gotta figure on them getting into the complex. We repair the barricade and weld plate steel over these ducts. That way they can only come at us from these two corridors. All right, people, let's move like we've got a purpose. Affirmative. Affirmative. Hudson here. AMB sentries are in place and key. Do it. Fire in the hole! Steal in the tunnel. That's nifty. Okay. okay. I want you to put this on. Then I can find you anywhere in the complex on this. Doesn't mean we're engaged or anything. Ooh. Lie here and have a nap. Aww. Well, I bet Casey doesn't have scary dreams. Nothing bad in there. Has her doll always been just a head? Bad dreams because she's just a piece of plastic. Smart girl. My mommy always said there were no monsters. Why did they tell little kids that? Most of the time it's true. Did one of those things go inside her? Isn't that how babies come? That's very different. That's quite a bit different. Girl. Where is she? Here. For luck. Is that the thing that Hick was it Hicks, the other guy just gave her? I can see you right through that camera. I'm not gonna leave you, Newt. Promise? I cross my heart and hope to die. But not really. Not really hoping to die. Molecular acid oxidizes after the creature's death, completely neutralizing. They grab the colonists, they move them over there, and they immobilize them, which would mean that they would have to be a lot of these parasites. Yes, that follows. Oh. So who's laying these eggs? Hey, maybe it's like an ant hive. One female that runs the whole show. The queen. I want these specimens destroyed as soon as you're finished with them. Mr. Burke gave instructions that they would be kept alive in stasis. Not this time. bullshit again. He was very specific about it. And I'm very specific. Now, if you're smart, we can both come out of his heroes and... Yeah, if we're alive. But they will know better, Burke. But they'll know that you were responsible for the deaths of 157 colonists. Mm. You sent them out there and you didn't even warn them. So I made a decision and it was... People are dead, Burke! Don't you have any idea what you've done here? Oh. I thought you'd be smarter than this. Happy to disappoint you. <laughs> Yikes. This guy only cares about saving his own ass, money, becoming a hero. They're coming. Where? In the tunnel. Jeez, that was loud. We're gonna run out of rounds real fast. Man, it's a shooting gallery down there. How many of those xenomorphs are there? Ten. That's it. We're fucked. Very pretty, Bishop, but what are we looking for? Emergency venting. The blast radius of 30 kilometers. Why can't we shut it down from here? The crash caused too much damage. Four more weeks. Oh, man. Poor guy. The transmitter was on the APC. Well, we better think of something. Think of what? We're fucked. Shut up. <laughs> it's game over, man. Game over. Well, somebody's going to have to go out there. With those things running around? I want you to go, man. Go. What? 
I mean, I'm the only one qualified to remote pilot the ship anyway. I may be synthetic, but I'm not stupid. How long? Say 40 minutes to crawl down there. An hour to patch in and line the antenna. 30 minutes to prep the ship. 50 minutes flight time. See you soon. Probably not. How many? Lots. How many of those things? Well, they said there could be like over a hundred, right? One for each colonist? Can stop them. They're probably looking for other ways to get in. I want you to walk in perimeter, but stay frosty. Move! How long's it been since you got any sleep? Yeah, because I'm not going to end up like those others. If it comes to that, I'll do us both. All right? This is an M41A pulse rifle. 30 millimeter pump action grenade launcher. Grenade launcher? So basically, she wants him to kill her before being captured and cocooned. I am guessing. Get another one in quick. Slap it in hard. What's this? Grenade launcher. I don't think you want to mess with that. I'm guessing she's gonna need that later on. How do you feel? One hell of a hangover. Excuse me. She ain't got time for this guy. He can't get shit done. She's gonna do it and she doesn't want... She doesn't have time to hear apologies or anything. Just sit the fuck down, dude. Uh oh. Where's Newt? Oh, there she is. the face huggers how did i don't understand how that got here hey Hicks! did he just he just shut the camera off because she threatened him what an asshole Me too! Me too. Me three! <sighs> Smart! Meet me in med lab. We got a fire. <laughs> Jesus. Oh god. Oh, they're so fast! Oh! Oh, jeez! <gasps> There's another one! Through the glass! Let's go! <laughs> okay, but don't waste the bullets now. Okay. Throw it and shoot it! Let's go! Woo! Nail the other one. It's history, man. It's history, man! <laughs> it was Burke's that he could get an alien back through quarantine if one of us was impregnated. Me and Newt. And then frozen for the trip home. Fuck! He's dead. This is so nuts. So that's how those things got there. He'd set him loose. Paranoid delusion. It's pathetic. You're pathetic! All right, we waste him. No offense. <laughs> They're just ready to kill him. I love these guys. Power. How did they cut the power, man? This is great. I'll go to the side. It's inside the complex. Hudson, stay calm. Get back, both of you. 
Seal the door. Hurry! Run! Come on, get back! Range 20 meters. They found a way in. 17 meters. Something under the floor. Let's go! That's right outside the door. Hicks, Vasquez, get back! Remember, short controlled bursts. Oh my god. Five meters, man. Four. They're above or below. Oh my god. Don't go close to it. Don't open the. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's so many. Oh, fuck. Where is he going? Go. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck this guy. We should have just killed him. What are you going to do by yourself, Burke? You can't survive. Oh, you want someone there to fuck you? Oh, no. Oh. I knew he was about to go out. My favorite character, besides Ellen, of course. He had his last hurrah. Go, go, go! Fucking Burke, man. I don't understand. He's safer with them. That's what you get. Ripley, this way! Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast! It was game over, man. Game over for Hudson. Which way is it to the landing field from here? This way. Fraser, do you read me? ETA! 16 minutes! Holy shit! Look at that thing move! She is a badass! Oh no, did the acid get her? Oh no! She can't go, she can't run. I don't think that handgun's gonna work. Oh no. Oh, how scary. Don't let go. Gotcha. Grab her sleeve. Oh, but that's not Oh yeah. Don't listen to me. Well, it, it seems kind of a fun ride down. Water? She's close. Climb down, honey. We've got to cut through. Better cut fast. Uh oh. We've got company. Oh, lots of company. Why are there so many in this goddamn movie? One was enough! It's ridiculous! It's called Aliens. It could be two. It could be three. Nowhere in the rule book does it say it has to be a hundred. Uh oh. Is that it? They're gonna cocoon her. Fuck. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it got him. Come on, you can make it. I keep forgetting about this guy. We're not leaving. We're not. Gotta go get the girl. Gotta get Newt. Look at that shot. With the music and the lightning? We got the grenades. Okay. All right. Some epic shit is about to go down.
19 minutes, this area is going to be a cloud of vapor the size of Nebraska. See you, Hicks. It's Dwayne. Ellen. Uh, did the acid get his eye? Oof. I hope nobody else dies. Is that too much to ask? I am kind of sad that I didn't grow up with these movies, but I'm I'm glad I'm watching them now. You now have 14 minutes. Like I didn't have Ellen Ripley to like be a someone to look up to as a child. I had Princess Leia and she's a badass. But Ellen, she's on a whole other level. We're getting close. Oh, those are little flares. Okay. I was wondering what those were. Oh no. Did it fall off? Oh shit. Oh, so the face huggers, they stay on for a pretty good amount of time before they fall off. So we can assume that she hasn't been. Okay, but now, now we should worry. Ah! Let's go. Ah! I hate looking at those things. Oh, oh no. There comes the big one. But how are you going to get her out of there? Hold on. Oh, is it already starting? How in the world are we going to make it out of this? Oh, the egg layer. It's a giant egg sack. Where's the rest of it? Oh. My lord. Time to go? I assume she can't really move, but I'm sure she could spit venom or some shit. Like, she got really long arms. Also, this thing's gonna blow up soon. I. Why aren't they attacking? Okay, that's great, but we might want to conserve our fuel. The rockets? Let's go. Oh, she popped! Oh, it's just like that thing in Elden Ring. She can detach from the fucking egg sack? That's not fair. Do we have anything left in our gun? Oh no. That's the queen, huh? We still have fire. Did they leave? God damn you! Um, did they seriously leave? I mean, Bishop seemed like he wasn't too bad of a guy. I think they're gonna show up. Come on, boys. Did this bitch seriously take the elevator? This bitch took the elevator. There we go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Whew. It waited. Oh, they stuck. Watch it, Bishop.
Boom. Hopefully that's enough to take out the queen. We're okay. Ooh. I knew you'd come. Somehow. He's gonna be alright. Bishop. You did okay. <gasps> oh. What? I thought we were I thought it was over! What? Wait, where? How? What? Oh! Oh! Fuck yeah! I mean, like, that's sad, but fuck. I mean, we had to see an android get totally obliterated, right? Because it's so cool with the... Here! Here! Uh -huh. I should have known! It's just like in the first movie. We think we're safe, and then the thing's on the ship with us. The escape pod. The nightmare is never over. Ooh. She's quick! That little girl's quick! What do we got? Some big fuck- <laughs> No! No way! What the fuck is this? I can't- I can't- I can't- I can't- Get away from her, you bitch! Oh! What? Okay, calm down, calm down, calm down. <laughs> she punches the Xenomorph Queen. She fucking pu <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but it's just because it's not funny. I'm just so happy right now. This is too good. Ooh, careful. Get her! Come on. <laughs> I can't believe this shit. What are we doing? Ugh. Yes, yes. Bishop. <laughs> oh. Out into space again. Wait. Is he salvageable? He's still functioning. Let's go. Whew. How did the queen get? She must have jumped on the back of the ship. Oh, is he? Okay, you know what? I spoke too soon. He just had a little bit left in him. Not bad for a human. Not bad for an android. We actually have some survivors this time. Are we gonna sleep all the way home? I think we both can. Sleep tight. High affirmative. Cute. Are we going to sleep for another 57 years? Wow. Okay, so I... I guess they didn't take... Did she not take a bishop? I guess he was... He was too too far gone. Um, I can safely say that I, I have not seen that movie before. None of that was recognizable. The scene that I thought I might have been remembering from this movie was not in this movie. So I think it's just my memory of the original Alien just being a little bit wrong. But unless it was Alien 3, I, I don't know. But I, I don't think I've seen Alien 3. I don't remember any of this. I did not... <laughs> I, I have no recollection of that machine and her punching that thing. Whoa. <laughs> Damn. That was... Crazy. Worth, definitely worth the two and a half hours. And there were some really memorable characters in this. And I felt like we got to 
um, kind of get attached to them a little bit more. Not that the previous cast, what the cast from the first movie wasn't as good, but I don't know. I just, I really liked Hudson <laughs> a lot. And, um, and Hick was pretty cool too. And that, I mean, most of them. And, uh, Vasquez. Those were the memorable ones to me, at least. Uh, fuck Burke. That guy was a... No redeeming qualities. What a fucking asshole. Basically, Waylon Yutani personified just after, uh, money. Thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. That was a wild ride. Ripley's a badass. Newt was definitely more useful than Jonesy was and adorable. And Hudson was my absolute favorite part of the movie. He was hilarious. The delivery was great. The lines were great. He was my favorite part of the movie up until that ending. I thought when that gate opened, whatever, that Ripley was going to have some kind of big gun, a turret, something. And she came out with that machine. I, I don't even know what you call it. I about lost my fucking mind. <laughs> that was so great. I would love to hear what you guys would like me to watch next because I I don't really know. Um, I kind of have some ideas of some movies that I want to see, but I also want to know what you guys are interested in watching. And just thank you guys for being here. And I hope to see you guys again. Take care.